What if I told you the universe is only here because you exist to observe it? So this book right here is The Anthropic Cosmological Principle, written by Frank Tipler, who is a mathematical physicist, and John Barrow, who is a physicist and cosmologist. This book sets out to explore one of the deepest questions in cosmology. Why is the universe seemingly so perfectly fine-tuned for life? They speak to the strength of gravity. If it was slightly stronger, stars would burn out too quickly and collapse before life could be formed. Slightly weaker and stars wouldn't form properly, meaning no planets, no complex chemistry, no life being formed. If there was a tiny variance in electromagnetism, life could not be created. The same with strong nuclear force, the same with weak nuclear force. The ratio of electrons to proton mass, the balance between matter and antimatter, cosmological constant, which is the constant that controls the expansion of the universe. If any of these were even slightly off, life would not exist. So back to the question, why does the universe seem so perfectly tuned for life? First option is the weak anthropic principle or WAP, W-A-P. WAP simply states that the universe allows for observers, otherwise we wouldn't be here to observe it. It's not hard for you to understand that you live on a planet that allows for life because if you didn't, you wouldn't exist. Of all the possible universes that you could exist in, you exist in the one where life could emerge because otherwise you wouldn't exist. Next one is the SOP, the strong anthropic principle. The universe was not randomly suitable, but it was bound to be this way. In religion, people would say God created this so that we could exist. In other interpretations, it's just simply that the universe is so precisely constructed that life was inevitable to emerge. And they propose a third in their book, which is called the FAP, the Final Anthropic Principle. Not to be confused with no FAP, but FAP simply states that once intelligent life emerges, it can never be fully extinguished. It can never fully die out. In fact, that intelligent life will take control of its cosmic evolution, which potentially leads to a future where intelligence actually begins to shape the universe itself. It's a really fascinating book that connects physics, philosophy, and even esoteric ideas about consciousness, reality, the constructs that we live within. Key takeaways, that the universe is precisely designed for life, like so precisely that it is not logical to think that it came about by accident, right? Occam's razor. Two, observers are necessary for creation to exist. The observer collapses into reality, creation. And three, the final destiny of intelligence could be to take control of cosmic evolution. And it's three, it 100% is three. All the friction, all the chaos that's going on, that's just the contractions before birth. That's just the friction within the cocoon before the emergence. Ask yourself, if the earth is a womb, and if this chaos, this friction you're feeling is the push and pull that is necessary for birth, what is being birthed?